Okay. Uh, welcome to Ajit Bele's Chemistry for YouTube channel. Uh, today we can see the exercise question of the topic some basic concept in the organic chemistry. Okay. The so first question uh, we can see what are the hybridization state of each carbon atom in the following compounds. Uh, so the first compound is first compound is CH two O double one C double one O. Okay, so we can uh, calculate the hybridization state of each carbon atom. So for first carbon, which is directly bonded to uh, another carbon by second double bond. So the hybridization is sp2 and that carbon is sp hybridization. Ha carbon joy to ha carbon number over double bond in a form kill the trapper mon to sp2 and left side a double right side a double a cell the trapper sp mon to normally apply la hai maite if carbon carbon containing single bond the hybridization is sp3 if the carbon carbon containing double bond the hybridization is sp2 and if carbon carbon containing triple bond the hybridization is sp so here yeah, compound mode first carbon so yeah, that uh, there's a hybridization as well sp2 for the second carbon sp2 sp sorry then the second compound happens so, yeah, uh, that compound is a propene ch3 ch double bond ch2 Okay, so first car hybridization of the first carbon is sp3 current single bond form second compound is open left side la single bond hai, right side la double bond hai. so we can write sp2 for third ca carbon we can write sp2 okay so here is a hybridization as well sp3 sp2 sp2 then third compound upon jay bukhto hai so third compound jay that is ch3 twice co thoda sa apne structurally formula bada apun asal yu shakto hai ch3 c double bond o ch3 ok so for first carbon the hybridization is sp3 that carbon sp3 has a carbon hai. carbon carbon single upon carbon oxygen double hai. that is sp2 okay next car next compound upon book fourth compound that is ch2 double bond ch cn this compound we can write also ch2 double bond ch c triple bond n cyanide in cyanide cn carbon nitrogen containing triple bond so we can calculate the hybridization of each carbon for the first carbon the carbon carbon containing double bond so the hybridization is sp2 for the second carbon double and single we can prefer multiple bond that is sp2 uh, for that carbon carbon nitrogen containing triple bond so that is sp hybridization okay and the last compound that is fifth compound in the question number one that is c6 h6 so for c6 h6 uh, we know that it is a benzene so benzene containing alternative carbon single carbon carbon double bond single bond double bond then we can calculate hybridization of each carbon so for calculating hybridization of each carbon in the benzene is sp2 each carbon the hybridization is sp2 okay so that is the first question so uh, we can see the second question and that is a second question is indicate the sigma and pi bond in the following molecules the first example is 
C6 H6. So we can calculate the sigma bond and the pi bond in the polling molecule. So we can write the first structural formula of that compound and the structural formula is C6H6 it is a benzene so benzene each carbon is bonded with one hydrogen okay and alternatively double single double with a carbon so can calculate the sigma bond and the pi bond if carbon carbon containing double bond so one sigma bond and one pi bond is present if carbon carbon containing single bond it is only sigma bond is present and if carbon carbon containing triple bond so two pi bonds and one sigma bond is present so in that case there is this one is a pi bond it is a second pi bond and it is a third pi bond so total pi bonds in that benzene is three pi bonds and total sigma bonds in uh, benzene is so you can calculate carbon carbon bond 1 2 3 4 5 6 and carbon hydrogen bond 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total total sigma bond present in the benzene is 12 sigma bonds in second compound also you can okay so uh, for C6H12 it is represented in uh, two ways one uh, that is cyclohexane and second one that is a uh, hexene so for cyclohexane the total number of pi bonds are 0 and total number of sigma bonds are 18 in case of hexene the total number of pi bonds are 1 and total number of sigma bonds are 17 okay so we can take the third example and the third example is ch2cl2 uh, so for ch2cl2 we can first write the structural formula of ch2cl2 and the structural formula for ch2cl2 is so ch is a sigma bond and ccl is a sigma bond so total sigma bond present in that compound is a 4 total pi bonds present in the compound is a 0 so next compound uh, we can see uh, that is ch2 double bond c double bond ch2 okay so uh, in that compound so in that Pi, a double bond one is a pi bond and another one is a sigma bond pi bond and the sigma bond so there is total pi bonds present in the in that compound is a two and sigma bonds present in that compound two carbon carbon sigma bonds and four carbon hydrogen sigma bonds so total sigma bond present in the compound is a four sigma bond six sigma bonds are present in that compound so next compound i will take that is h c o and h c h 3 so first we can write the structure of that compound so that compound is represented as structural representation of that compound is hc double bond o then nh and then ch3 okay so the total number of pi bonds present in that compound is a one in the which is, which is present in carbon oxygen bond so total number of sigma bonds present in that compound is one two three four 5 and 3 8 8 sigma bonds are present so that is the second question you can see uh, the number of pi bonds and sigma bonds present in the compound uh, so next uh, question we can see that is uh, write the bond line formula for first structure is isopropyl alcohol 
isopropyl alcohol okay so what is the bond line formula of isopropyl alcohol so for isopropyl alcohol propyl means which has a three carbon so in case of bond line formula we can write three every corner as a carbon carbon double uh, carbon bond carbon atom so ch3 here ch2 and here ch3 uh, so this structure is in case of bond line formula we can return as okay there are total three carbons and in the second carbon the hydroxyl group is present so bond line formula of isopropyl alcohol is like this second compound is 2 comma 3 dimethyl 2 comma 3 dimethyl butanol okay so parent chain is a butanol butanol means 4 carbon and the first carbon has aldehyde group okay so you can number it here 1 2 3 and 4 then uh, second and third carbon has a methyl group okay so that is the uh, bond line formula of the 2 3 dimethyl butanol uh, then next compound is heptane 4 one heptane 4 one uh, the suffix is one one is used for the ketone and the parent chain containing seven carbon atoms so we can write seven carbons two three four five six seven uh, we can number it here from the left side or you can number in the right side so there are total six carbon and in fourth carbon there is a O any means ketonic group so that is the ketonic group which is present in the fourth carbon so that is the bond line representation of heptane 4 1 okay then we can see next question next question is what is the IUPC name of the following compounds okay see we can see the IUPC name of the following compounds and the first compound is okay that is the first compound so parent chain is a benzene so we can write the name of the compound is that group that is a substituent and which containing three carbon and it is a straight chain so we can write and propyl benzene or simply propyl benzene that is the first uh, structures name for the second second structure is like this okay in that case uh, the functional group is a cyanide cyanide is a functional group and the suffix for that functional group cyanide is nitrile so select a longest continuous chain longest continuous chain parent chain that is the 5 carbon and third carbon has a methyl group which is a substituent so you can write 3 methyl parent chain has 5 carbon so you can write pentane nitrile 3 methyl pentane nitrile next structure is okay so you can uh, numbering long select so uh, follow up serial select the longest continuous chain the longest continuous chain has one two three four five six seven carbon uh, according to lowest slow control we can numbering here from the left side and uh, that is one two three four five six seven second carbon has uh, one methyl group and 
for 5 carbon there is one methyl group is present so both are the same group so first we can write the position of that group and that is 2 comma 5 dimethyl 2 comma 5 dimethyl the parent chain containing 7 carbon so we can write heptane okay the next compound is here cl and here br is present so in that case select a longest continuous chain the long continuous chain will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 carbon br and cl both are a substituent uh, so you can numbering from the left side there is total seven carbons parent chain uh, so second third carbon has two substituent one is a chlorine and second one is a br so prefixes used for the chlorine chloro and for br bromo but alphabetically bromo comes first so we can write three bromo then three chloro and parent chain containing seven carbon so we can write heptane so name of the compound is a three bromo three chloro heptane so next compound is this okay so uh, the functional group present in that compound is a aldehyde c double bond o h and cl is a substituent so select a longest continuous chain so aldehyde comes first and that is a substituent which is present in the third carbon so you can write three chloro parent chain containing three carbon that is propane and first carbon has aldehyde group so suffix used for aldehyde group is al so name of that compound is a three chloro propanol okay, so last compound for the iupc nomenclature is that compound okay so uh, the functional group present in the compound is OH that is alcohol so we can numbering from the right side second carbon has a two chlorine atoms so we can write two comma two dichloro parent chain containing two carbon that is ethane and add the suffix of the alcohol that is oil so name of the compound is a 2 comma 2 dichloroethanol